So the last thing we want to do before we get ready to export to bring this into Blender is to check it one more time. Select all control A and reverse those faces. Make sure that none of that is painted. Control Z. And now I'm going to make a group out of the whole house. Now this is not going to spin properly if it's not centered on this axis. We started drawing from the origin. Now we need to get the house centered on the origin. The way to do that is to look at it from below. So if I use the M move tool, I can move it so that the red line is across the center. Now you can see that this is the actual center of the group. So I need to move this house over to there, from here to here. So I'm going to click and drag it to the red line, and now it's pretty darn close. You can actually maybe do one more if you want to be very precise. And there we go, centered. Now notice I only moved it on the green axis. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I need to move it to the green axis. So I'm going to click and drag it, sorry, with the red. And now I can see that this needs to go to here. I'm being very careful so I'm not moving it off of the other one. Maybe go one more just to be super precise here and click and drag to that line and now there it is, center. And the reason we do it from below is because we wouldn't have really guessed that that is the spot around which the whole house should orbit. So we want this to spin around smoothly, not in some sort of eccentric ellipse. So that's going to make it look a lot better. Now we are ready to export our 3D model. And there's lots of different formats. This would be like if we were 3D printing, which this wouldn't be really great for 3D printing. Uh, but we're going to try the Colada file first, and maybe there's some other formats now that Blender's going to be able to handle, but the Colada DAE file is what's worked for us in the past. Now when we do this, we're going to get the Colada file and a folder filled with the textures that has to stay with it. So I'm going to export this with the date, and probably should make another folder for it. Let me just go in here. You will see that we have the folder with the textures that has to be wherever the DAE file is right here. So really it'd be better if I made a models for Blender and export my stuff into there. So both of those things can be in pairs in this folder anytime that I want to bring things into Blender. I keep those together. Now, if you only use colors on your house, you won't have that folder and you don't need to worry about it. But for anyone who added any kind of texture to their house, uh, you will notice that you have two things named the same, but one is a folder with pictures in it. That's all those textures are, is images. And then the DAE Colada file that we'll be importing into Blender. Now, Blender can be told, hey, I want these packed in together with this when I save the Blender file. And then you can continue without worrying too much about these. But to get started, to get it into Blender, make sure that you have both of those.